Ladies and gentlemen, there was a Wendy's commercial in the early 80s where uh, these three women, uh, older women, would be looking at this hamburger, and then one of them would yell, where's the beef? And so, where's the beef with Liz Cheney and Kinzinger and the congressional panel with Trump? I mean, share these segments everywhere. They're, I mean, I don't know if they're that popular among my viewers, but... This is the perfect rebuttal to anyone who said that Trump organized and, uh, you know, was the uh, ringleader of a plot to overthrow democracy. Well, then where's the beef? Why haven't you indicted or charged him for what had that fateful day two years ago, which I condemn? I wonder if Democrats, though, and I agree with the why people were demonstrating that summer, but I wonder if Democrats condemn a whole summer of curfews in major cities, one to two billion dollars in property damage, 19 lives lost, according to Wikipedia. I think it's even more than that. And businesses destroyed, um, lives upended, chaos, mayhem every single day for a whole summer with a CNN journalist saying, well, you know, it's uh, fiery, but mostly peaceful as a building is in flames behind him. And so I just wonder, like, the mindset. And then they block uh, a security bill for Supreme Court justices after Brett Kavanaugh's life um, was almost ended by a deranged maniac, of course, a, a quote-unquote morally superior liberal Democrat, who, li who stated he wanted to have some meeting in his life. And so it's interesting the way Democrats... Like, the sensationalized coverage of anything that they can utilize for political gain is just insidious. It's, it's just unbelievable. If you really think that democracy is hanging by a thread, then why wouldn't you protect Supreme Court justices? Why would you block a bill that would increase funding for their protection? Oh, because you want to intimidate them. Why wouldn't you care so much about what took place during an entire summer? with billions, billions of dollars in property damage. And in the, the rebuttal as well, it's just property. Well, you don't, you don't want your property, you don't want your property torched or damaged, do you? Oh, that's right. No, you wouldn't like your car or your, your, your apartment or anything like that. So, I mean, it's interesting how Democrats view an entire summer versus one day. If they could pin one day on Trump, no problem. An entire summer that they were complicit in? Ah, well, you know, it just happened. And they want to intimidate Supreme Court justices. I explained that today in the segments prior to this one. Chuck Schumer literally said, you'll pay the price. And you don't see media going after uh, Schumer. But here you have Liz Cheney. This is an important rebuttal to Trump being a menace to democracy. Indict him, charge him with a crime. You couldn't charge him with the crime with, with, because of his tax returns. His tax returns were supposed to be the holy grail of corruption. Okay? His tax returns were supposed to be the holy grail of corruption, and they found nothing. It was, it was supposed to lead to, like, this uh, Byzantine labyrinth of, uh, you know, back channels and money transfers and business deals with uh, the Kremlin or other shady, um, you know, billionaires. No, that was actually Hunter in his emails. But so Democrats won't, won't look at that. But they have his actual tax returns. You don't have, the, the, the Republicans don't have Hunter's tax returns, okay? And they don't really have, I mean, they, they don't really have exactly why Mashed Potato Brains Joe got 10% from Hunter. And it says 10% for the big man. That's one of the emails that Hunter, Hunter had stating that he gives 10% of his income derived from his family name, uh, you know, get either giving or promising to give or, give or giving the allure of preferential treatment from the United States government to others, to billionaires, to corporations. Uh, he, was on, he, was, he, was on the, he was on the board of advisors of an oil and gas corporation in a country now being invaded. Uh, simply because of his last name, where one of the people in that uh, one of the people in that corporation 
One of the top executives asked him how he can use his influence on behalf of the company. So I think Hunter's emails show clear pay-to-play schemes. It's pretty obvious. But Democrats only focus on Trump's tax returns. No indictment, no charges. Southern District of New York, numerous investigations, no indictments, no charges. Okay, well, you say, oh, Trump is Teflon. He's a Teflon Don Trump. It's like, well, he didn't commit a crime, though. The thing is, he didn't commit a crime. It's not like a D.C. jury. Believe me, a D.C. jury is not going to be intimidated to indict Trump. (laughs) The D.C. jury is mostly liberal Democrats who gave money to de- to, to Clinton or, um, you know, other, other politicians on the Democratic side. The thing is, they can't find a, a charge. They don't have any evidence that Trump committed a crime. He didn't organize that fateful day uh, last two years ago <clears throat> with the congressional panel with Liz Cheney and, and Adam Kinzinger, grandstanding as usual. They voted alongside Trump 90% of the time in Congress. But they oppose him on major issues like foreign policy. That's the moral imperative to vote for President Trump. He opposes the Lincoln Project, never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts, and military interventions and regime changes. That's one of the main reasons to vote for Donald Trump and DeSantis. And so Trump opposes those people. That's why, that's why Cheney and Kinzinger are after, are after him in Mittens Romney is against them. That's why Never Trumpers, that's the hu- That's the big rift between Never Trumpers and Trump. By the way, hit subscribe to this channel right now. Right after this, 638 points down in the Dow. Dow's going to get way below 30,000. So way below 30,000. And it's just a matter of time, unfortunately, before a huge, huge single day crash. We've seen a slow motion crash, but we'll see that in the Dow. NASDAQ continues to plummet. Uh, S&P 500 continues to plummet. NASDAQ down 332 points today. Uh, so we'll get the S&P way below 4,000. And so hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. I have a segment right after this, on the or actually before this, on the Stock Market Crash channel. Uh, and also the Bitcoin Crash channel. I took a couple days off there, but I'm actually working on an article. So on crypto imploding. Um, so hit subscribe to the Bitcoin Crash channel as well. To my new Patreons, thank you. Become a member of this channel, people. And members, you, you are awesome. We have, we're going to have live streams again soon. And the membership on the live stream, you'll enjoy that very much. But ladies and gentlemen, share this segment everywhere. His tax returns, no indictments. Stormy, it was Avenatti who went to prison. Um... The Mueller Pro special counsel, nobody was indicted on conspiring alongside uh, foreign intelligence officials. Um, what else? There were, oh, his, his uh, investigations into pressuring people in numerous states, pressuring Trump pressures. Trump pressures. Democrats pressure all the time. You just never hear about it. That's, and when you do hear about it, it's Hillary Clinton accusing Tulsi Gabbard of being an operative of another country. Okay, that's that's how they, and then you have, <clears throat> and then you have the Washington Post. Why aren't there more Republicans like Liz Cheney? Well, because um, number one, Trump didn't commit a crime because he hasn't been indicted or charged in a court of law. Perhaps because the evidence, uh, if he ever defended himself, would prove um, that not only was is he innocent, but there was a concerted effort against him in every one of these little scandals by media and by certain government officials. But, I mean, we see that with the Durham Probe Special Counsel, ladies and gentlemen. People don't understand the Durham Probe Special Counsel. It's a special counsel that is aimed at finding out a very widespread plot which existed. We know that from the last trial. Robbie Mook stated that Hillary Clinton personally approved a plan to disseminate false information to media about Trump. And, and and also get operatives to give that information to government agencies to, to, to convince government agencies to investigate Trump. It was all within the indictment and also especially within Robbie Mook's testimony, the testimony of Mark Elias and others, former uh, uh, special agents, officials stating that, well, um, leadership at the Bureau was, quote, fired up and they were very excited they wanted to investigate a political opponent. It wasn't just about um, a, a big uh, national security issue because the DNC emails 
uh, are not national security. It has nothing to do with national security. So anyway, uh, the, the Durham Probe Special Counsel, that trial was actually very successful, even though there was an acquittal, because the information derived could lead to a, far more indictments, 18 U.S. Code 371, for people who conspired against the U.S. government. That being said, I want a Hillary Trump 2024. So I want a Hillary Clinton Donald Trump 2024 because I want to relive. We need to redo 2016. Okay, we need to, we need to, we, 20, we're still living in 2016. And the Durham's Robe Special Counsel, the trial testimony actually proved exactly what Trump was saying. But see, again, CNN doesn't, re, doesn't really understand what took place in the trial testimony. So the opposite is true. In court, Trump is actually vindicated in court. The acquittal of Sussman was literally because nobody trusted James Baker because they knew that the Bureau was in on it with political operatives like Sussman. See, it's not... The, the, the wide-ranging plot is so apparent that even a jury says, nah, government officials were not duped. They weren't duped by Clinton operatives. They were working alongside Clinton operatives. So there you go. But anyway, they can't indict or, 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 or they can't indict Trump they can't indict him because there's no there's no crime. He didn't commit a crime. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. It's a very important point that I don't think people understand. And it's a it's a perfect rebuttal to anyone who thinks that Trump is the embodiment of criminality and corruption. If he's so corrupt, why haven't you indicted him? Because you could have indicted Hillary. Comey went to bat and said, well, no, there was no intent to own private servers with top secret intelligence on them running outside of the United States government. How that happened, nobody knows. How do you have top secret intelligence on servers that where you've allowed a government official to have their own servers and somehow transferred or migrated or, you know, taken from one location to another top secret special access program intelligence? beyond top secret, classified data. How do you remove classified data from the United States government and put that classified data onto onto private servers? Nobody knows. Maybe Strzok or or, or McCabe or Comey knew, but they wouldn't tell anybody. So they actually did try to cover that up. But anyway, the official... Democrats, the Washington Post, New York Times are like, well, the official narrative is this. Well, if you peel just like like a, 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 a tiny... like you know, if, if you peel the layer off the official narrative and actually see what's taking place, you know that it's not Trump committing these crimes. It's Democrats getting away with them and accusing Trump of doing the most horrible things without any evidence. And they haven't indicted Trump. They could have indicted Clinton, but they didn't. And so that's the difference. Give me your thoughts below. This congressional panel is a farce. And it's a theatrical performance, and the entire country knows this. That's why when you see like when you like you see like people talking endlessly about, oh my God, it was an organized effort. Well, then indict him. If Liz Cheney said it was an organized effort, then indict Trump. But you're not going to because you don't have any evidence. That's the difference. You do have evidence to indict Clinton, but Comey said there was no intent, which is hilarious because the bureau never does that for anyone. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right. I'll be back in about two hours. Check the stock market crash channel right now. It's the entire thing's collapsing, unfortunately. Go to the pinned comment right now, uh, in or it's the description, and check the stock market crash.